Hi, this is Bella from Empower Studio and today I have with me Caitlin from Five Head Vlog. We recorded this look today and it's a glam makeup look. You can either use it for Halloween or glam night out or whatever you really want to. So if you want to see how we create this look, then please keep watching. So to start off, I used Inglot Brow Gel AMC 19 and a flat angled brush. So I started at the end of the brow and I tapered it off. Then I brought it to the front of the brow and I pushed the product from the bottom of the brow all the way up to the top to create a gradient effect. Now I'm carving out the brow with Max Pro Conceal Correct Palette and NC15 is the one I'm using to carve out. So in this stage you can use the carving out process to clean up the brow and make it more defined. Now I'm priming the eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So in the crease I'm using MAC Signed and Sealed and I'm using the Zoeva 231 brush. So I'm kind of creating a cut crease effect here and I'm going to blend that all out then with Bamboo by MAC with the fluffy brush from Empower. So the trick to get this smoky eye right is to blend, blend and blend and you're using small amounts of product and building it up. So as you can see it's a slow process and I just keep building up the product and blending it out. And I swap between the Empower brushes and the Zoeva 231 brush and I'm using Signed and Sealed by MAC and Bamboo by MAC and these are the only two colours at the moment that I'm using. So now I'm using Cranberry Eyeshadow by MAC and I'm just packing that on and packing is when you use a flat brush and you just pack it on like this. You don't swipe it, you just press it into the skin. So I'm gonna use this as a base before I put my pigment over this. So this just creates the illusion of a deeper eye and it gives the pigment something to stick to. It's also a good tip to put an eyeshadow on before you put a pigment on because it will bring the pigment up stronger. So now I'm using MAC Pigment Blue Brown and I'm packing that just on top of the cranberry. So for the gel liner I always start off skinny and then I go bigger. I'm using the Inglot AMC Gel Liner with Duraline and it's AMC 77. The brush I'm using is also an Empower brush and it's just an angled liner brush. So the trick to get a perfect line is to go really small sections and be patient. So I always get my rough line for liner before I fill in the middle. So underneath I'm just going again, I'm going back in with signed and sealed MAC eyeshadow just on the bottom waterline and I'm going to drag that to the centre of the eye. And then in the inner corner again I'm going to use Cranberry by MAC and I'm just going to drag that all out. So here I've applied my lashes and I'm just giving it a coat of mascara to merge the lashes and the false lashes together. And you can use any strip lashes you want, there's no specific lash that you could use for this look. So to just go on top of the eyes now, I'm using the Inglot Body Sparkles in 68. 
And this is just to finish up the look. I'm cleaning it up by doing a black liner in the waterline, top and bottom. So for skin, I'm using MAC's new Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation and I mixed NC25 with NW45, as Caitlin was quite tanned this day. So I'm just using a buffing brush and I'm just buffing that into the skin. This is a great foundation if you're going on a night out or if you're going for a wedding or a Debs. So here I'm doing a highlight and I'm using NC20 from MAC, again in the Pro Longwear foundation. And this is just going to create like different dimensions in the face because when you put one foundation on it can make your face look quite flat. So no one's highlight and contour is going to be the same because you're trying to get different face shapes. So here I'm setting the foundation with Max Blot Powder in Medium. Now I'm contouring with the Zoeva Flat Brush. And this is just an Inglot contour kit that I picked up. So when you're doing contour you're always working away from the face, you don't ever want to bring anything down because you're trying to make the illusion of bringing everything up. And when you do contour you're always looking to create an oval shape in someone's face. And now to finish off the face I'm going to apply blusher and highlighter and the highlighter that I'm using is Soft and Gentle by MAC. So now to do the lips, I'm going to do Burgundy by MAC and that's a liner and then I'm going to go in with Rebel. After I applied the Rebel I found that it was a bit too pinkish so I went in then with Cyber from MAC. And here's the finished look. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'll leave all the links below and I'll leave all the product lists below as well. Bye!